are getting coffee and cash out for all of the signatures. Yeah, really need coffee. It is very early right now. Yeah, cool. my coffee. <laughs> <laughs> my bag is so heavy. Yeah, so many things to sign. So my back is gonna be hurting by the end of this for sure. Absolutely. <laughs> um, I'm excited. Who are you most excited to see? Like who? Who oh. would be lying lining to? Oh, uh, probably Scotty Young. True. I have so yeah. many. I mean, things. of course, Chrissy Zool, but I'm not concerned about her lines. So those two for sure. <laughs> Yeah, Chrissy Zulu. Jason, what about you? You know, it would have been Jonathan Hickman if you didn't get COVID. So. Oh, I don't even want to think about it. Thanks for it. No, uh, we, we still are getting like a free ash can and two lithographs because uh, the VIP event got canceled. So I'm still most excited for that, to be honest. Yeah, yeah I'm that's really awesome. pumped. Um, I'm excited to get that. Uh, who else? Who else? Del Mundo. I just want him to sign some badass covers. So, yeah, yeah. so many exciting things. Well, onward to coffee. Yes. Hi, we're here. I'm so excited. Oh my god, I'm so excited too. I'm I've go been counting down the days and it's finally here. <laughs> we are going to go pick up passes. Well, we're going to get passes for them. Yes. And then um, I'll show you a little bit inside. We're hey. inside. Woo. Thanks to Comic Dunes, we got some exhibitor passes. So yeah. thank you, Comic Dunes. <laughs> we are walking. We're gonna go meet Ninth Wonder Comics right now. Look at some exclusives. So I think I already spotted David Nakayama. Okay. see over here like people getting exclusives so tons of fun Up the stuff from Three Moons, Three Worlds. Yeah, from the, uh, the event that you were gonna go to, and then it got canceled. But also, look who we found. Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> um, so I'm excited. Oh wait, we're gonna go find. How are you doing? I'm doing awesome, and I appreciate the deep cuts here. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very excited. Do you mind talking to me? I would love to. Especially these. They're just some of my favorites. Thanks. Yeah, they're just so much fun and like as you can tell, 
if anything is going to be with anyone in the team or in the book, that's fine. But it's now been four years and everyone seems to accept it as a normal state of affairs. And you're like, but, actually, she's an alcoholic. Well, no, but that, it's, and they, they've gone out of their way to say that she is. Yeah. And she's gone out of her way to act like it. But no one has reacted to it. And I just, I think that's, A, it's missing a story opportunity, but yeah, B, definitely. I know alcoholics. And it's, you know, it's not something people it. just ignore. Especially if, if it's a major character in me. But that's just me. I'm so 20th century about this. No, 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 not at all. I think that's like I a think missed opportunity. I'm also fine. I, it, it, hi. I'll name my boat and my series after the guys who almost killed me and Kurt and Peter. It's ironic. It's like, yeah, okay, whatever. You're like, not so much. Not my book. I, you know, it's, it's, it's not the way I would have handled it, but that's just me. You know, I, the other thing I find intriguing is that apparently everybody I want to know more about the poem itself I mean all we ever see of it is bits and pieces oh look here's the bar oh look here's kids oh look here's this oh look here's Emma's house uh, Kitty's house right next door on the rock outside of Krakoa so apparently they're not in Krakoa fine but I thought Krakoa was a floating island how come the rock boat, the outside rock goes along to the right but don't any of these kids have, any of these people have family back home? And how come no one ever goes to visit? Or, I mean, is this stuff that happens that we don't see? If it is, okay. But to me as a writer, there's so much there to play with that isn't being played with. Well, or if... If everybody who's on the series now wants, is going in one direction, I have no problem coming in as a secondary writer and playing with the little stuff on the side. It's just, no one's, I've, and I've actually made the, well, but you're not an editor. Or I know, unfortunately, unfortunately. It's, it's just, for me as a reader, I find, I want to know more about the world they live in, yeah. not, you know. Um, it's like, what about all their friends on Earth? Yeah. And Laura lives on Mars. Okay, that's nice. She's queen of, goddess queen of Mars. Okay. Does that mean she never talks to any of her friends back home? Yeah. Uh, are they expected to forget about her, or does she forget about them? I don't know. I'd like to know. It would be fun. Yeah, uh, they're to they're me, it's... Well, they're missing the story possibilities. I'm sure very much it's frustrating as a writer. Especially having... Well, as a reader. Yeah. You know, it's... it's um, so it's four books? Two books? Three books. Three, so it's... Yeah. No, it's, it's just... For me, the story about Kitty's father dying on Genosha yeah. was important to Kitty because it, it it set her off and put her in a, an arc where she ended up going to university mandated therapy, which for me in, in mechanics was the, 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 the scenes I enjoyed writing most because it was getting into her head and into her relationship with non-mutants and learning how to trust and not trust. And I miss that. Yeah. You know, Seeing like that kind of engagement and exploration of the Well, character. just, they live, they seem to live in their own exclusive little yeah. bubble, which is what I hated about DC. You know, the Titans all lived on Titans Tower. They never went home. They never had friends. They never, you know, I mean. You grounded them more in like, reality as well. 
Just because you go to the University of Chicago doesn't mean you can't go uptown. But that's... But I'm just... I'm just a single voice in the wilderness. A really good voice. We are over at Whatnot. Um, we just played... Uh, they have behind us where you could win Whatnot plushies. And then a vending machine. Where you can win prizes. And I won first try. And I won first try. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. I set it up so that he could win it. Yeah, but now it's that in a bag, true. so. <laughs> yeah, you might wish all of my money. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna grab it. He's a cute little guy. <laughs> yeah. Very fun booth. <laughs> Have you been having fun? Yes, but I'm very tired. <laughs> I'm so tired. It's been a long day. Right now it is. It is almost 4.30. 4.30. So we've gotten so much sign. Yeah. Yeah. It's been but, long. But it's been a good day. Yeah, we're Definitely probably going to head back soon and, and yeah. recoup before yeah. we, we go out. Recover for a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, but I'll show you guys around. I will flip the camera.